After installing the new Mighty app in March 2023, I sent an email to mytoyota at toyota.co.uk around mid-April that covered all the points I raised in the video linked at the top right of the screen. I got a reply to my email early in May, and this video gives you the information that was in that reply from Toyota. In my email, I said that the new app had an improved user interface. I liked the fuel, range, mileage lock, unlock status at the top of the screen, and I liked the other information that was grouped in cards, which can be dragged and dropped into a different order. In my email, I asked why sometimes I get information about the closed status of the windows and at other times I don't get that information. While the email reply did not explain why the windows information is sometimes missing, or even whether this was a known issue that is being investigated, the email did confirm that vehicle status displays the status for all vehicle entry points, doors, windows and boot. I think that this implies that the issue of the intermittently missing information about the closed status of the windows will be fixed. I also queried why the hybrid coaching in the old Mighty app showed all trips, whereas the new Mighty app only showed one month of data. Toyota's email explained that the old Mighty app only stored one year of trips, and in the new Mighty app only 30 days of trips are available. I think that the implication of this explanation is that the new Mighty app is designed to store 30 days of trips. I also think it implies that this is unlikely to change. Personally, I'm frustrated by this because I wanted to produce a video analysing the fuel consumption of my Yaris Hybrid over a year-long period as both the weather and temperature change during the year. I'm now manually copying the data from hybrid coaching to a spreadsheet where I can analyse it over an extended period of time. However, I have to accept that the vast majority of users of the new Mighty app will probably not be affected by the change from one year to 30 days of trips available in hybrid coaching. A similar point is that the old Mighty app had some filtering and export functionality. This would have helped me in my analysis. The email from Toyota did not address the issue of whether or not filtering and exporting will be added to the new Mighty app. However, once again, I understand that my personal requirements are not the requirements of a typical Mighty user. So the typical Mighty user probably won't notice the lack of filtering or export functionality. There were a couple of big issues with the new Mighty app, which the email from Toyota did not mention. I'm not sure if this means the issue will be resolved in a future release of the app, or if it means that the issues are not going to be fixed. You can interpret the fact that Toyota didn't mention it in the email either way. The first issue is the Find My Car functionality. The new MyTees map just shows your location and the car's location on a road map, and you have to figure out your route back to the car. The old version of the Mighty app would link directly to Google Maps so that you automatically got walking directions back to your car. The other issue is My Destination. When I first installed the new Mighty app, there was a My Destinations card. Unfortunately, before I could test it, the card disappeared. This means that there is no method to send a destination to your car's satnav from your phone. I think or possibly hope that my destination will be added back to the Mighty app. So the email from Toyota confirms that the new Mighty app stores 30 days of trips in hybrid coaching and that the vehicle status includes all entry points, which I think implies that the problem where the status of the windows is not always displayed will be fixed. Unfortunately, the email did not address the issues with the functionality that had been lost in Find My Car, My Destinations and Hybrid Coaching. And that leaves it open to interpretation as to whether or not the loss of functionality will be addressed.